Casting. Casting refers to a manufacturing process. It consists in pouring a liquid, which will later solidify, into a hollow mold with the exact desired shape. Once the solution has solidified, the resulting piece is referred to as the casting, where the mold is either separated or in other cases destroyed to make the process complete. The process of casting is 6,000 years old. It dates to a copper frog from 3200 before the common era. Metal casting has been one of the most common forms of casting because they are more dimensionally stable and durable. The casting process involves a piece called master. The master piece is made from either metal or wax mainly. For the most part, masters have been made by a person called the model maker. A true artist, a sculptor. This method has had a dramatic transformation at the end of the 20th century and especially in the beginning of the 21st century where computer-generated CAD objects can be physically reproduced by a rapid prototype 3D machine. A rubber mold is made all around the master, which allows duplicating the piece as many times as desired. After the mold is made, it is injected with hot wax, which results in a new solid wax piece, identical to the original master. This process is performed repetitively until many pieces of wax with the same design are achieved. Each piece of wax is individually inspected, fixed, sanded, and perfected. Any impurities, blemishes, and pores are repaired by skilled wax modelers. Each wax item has a watch prong, which is going to be removed after the casting. Once there are a couple of wax pieces ready, they are attached to a narrow wax tube. This results in a wax tree, where the wax will be substituted by a precious metal alloy later on. The base of the tree is made by a different rubber material which can withstand very high temperatures without being deformed nor destroyed. This component has two functions. The first function is to hold the actual wax tree that is achieved through a circular cavity within the rubber in the center of the circle where the wax tube goes into. The second function is to receive a metal cylinder called flask in its perimeter cavity. The wax tree then is surrounded by a metal cylinder called flange flask and then a type of chalk called investment is poured into the cylinder covering the entire wax tree. For platinum casting, the investment is treated with a special vacuum machine in order to suck out all the extra air contained within the mix in its liquid form. The flask is played into an oven where all the wax sublimates. In other words, it disappears. That results in a hollow solidified mold made of investment where the liquid metal will be poured into in a later step during the process. At this point, the jeweler or engineer prepares the alloy. For example, 18K alloy. The mix contains 75% of fine gold and another 25% of silver and copper. The cylinder is removed from the oven with the 3D imprint of the Halo jewelry tree. In contemporary industrial jewelry manufacturing facilities, there are very sophisticated casting machines. In such case, the cylinder is placed into the casting machine to receive the precious metal in its ultra-hot liquid stage. The hot liquid precious metal then fills out the cavity where the wax used to be in the investment. 
The cylinder is then taken out of the casting machine. Once the metal cools down and it adopts its solid stage, the rough material is removed with pressured water. The result is a jewelry tree made of precious metal.